God bless everybody watching this video. Today I'm going to be discussing a serious and challenging topic, which is the recent arrest of Sean Diddy Combs and the charges he faces. As we explore the situation, we'll also reflect on spiritual lessons and guidance from scripture. Let's delve into the details and see what we can learn from this difficult situation. Sean P. Diddy Combs, a prominent figure in the entertainment industry, has recently been arrested and is in federal custody. The charges against him are severe, and while this is a difficult subject, it provides an opportunity to reflect on our faith and the lessons God teaches us through challenging times. Let's break down the specific charges and consider what scripture says about justice and redemption. According to the indictment, Combs faces several serious charges. Here's a detailed look at these allegations and how we might interpret them through a spiritual lens. The first charge is sex trafficking. The indictment alleges involvement in sex, in sex trafficking since 2008. Scripture calls us to stand against exploitation and injustice. In Proverbs chapter 31 verses 8 through 9, we're reminded to speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves and to, de to defend the rights of the poor and needy. Second charge is forced labor, accusations of forcing individuals to work under duress. The Bible teaches us to treat others with kindness and respect. In Colossians chapter 4 verse 1 reminds us to provide what is right and fair to those who work for us. Third charge is kidnapping. Unlawful abduction and detention of individuals is the details of this charge. In Psalm chapter 82 verse 3, we are called to defend the weak and fatherless, upholding the rights of the afflicted and oppressed. Another charge is arson, intentionally setting fires to cause damage. In James chapter 1 verse 19, it advises us to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. This helps us avoid destructive actions and respond with grace. Bribery is another charge, with the description being engaging in bribery to influence others. In 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 10, we're warned that the love of money can lead to all sorts of problems. Integrity and honesty are crucial in all dealings. Obstruction of justice is another charge, impeding legal investigations and proceedings are charged against uh, P. Diddy. In Proverbs chapter 17 verse 15 tells us that acquitting the guilty and condemning the innocent are both detestable to the Lord. Justice and honesty should be our guiding principles. And there are many other offenses. Uh, some that I've heard are drugging, um, P. Diddy getting very verbally, mentally, emotionally, and physically violent with men and women, using blackmail, holding their careers over their heads. Um, hiring, I've um, seen professional P stars to, you know, engage in acts with men and women while they're drugged, while P Diddy watches and records them, and then holding these recordings over their head as another form of blackmail. And it seems like the list just goes on. In Romans chapter 13, verses 1 through 2, emphasizes the importance of submitting to governing authorities as they are established by God to maintain order and justice. Sean Combs' case is a complex one, and as it unfolds, it's important to reflect on the spiritual lessons it presents. We must remember to pray for all involved, including Combs, the victims, and those seeking justice. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, we are encouraged to pray continually, seeking God's guidance and wisdom in all situations. During times like these, it's crucial to approach the situation with compassion and understanding acknowledging that everyone has the capacity for change and redemption. Let's pray for justice to be served and for healing for all affected. Let's take a moment to pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you seeking your wisdom and guidance. We ask for justice in this case and for your healing. Touch upon all those involved. May your truth prevail and may we reflect your love and grace in all we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. I just wanted to go over this case briefly, not necessarily in the same way that you may see a lot of people cover it, but I always like to keep God, Jesus Christ, prayer, scripture, and just lessons we can learn at the center of all the videos that I make, especially when it pertains to pop culture, celebrities, things like that. So if you found this video helpful and insightful, 
then make sure to hit that notification bell and share your thoughts below. May we all, may we all see God's guidance and wisdom in challenging times. And I'll see you guys next time. Y'all have a blessed day.